Yammery, in its essence, is very different to any other type of therapy, any other type of body work. There are many different ways of doing the yammering, but the essence of the yammering is the same. One of the biggest differences between other forms of massage, if you like, and the yammering. In the yammering, I'm not interested in, pain, in physical pain. I'm not interested in to just to relax a muscle. I'm interested to transform whatever is in your system that you cannot relax. Whatever muscle structure, whatever behavior or pattern, whatever part of your life doesn't work and you try to do something about it and it doesn't work and you try to change it and you can't change it. And then you manage to change it or relax it for a while and then it comes back. The reason it comes back is because you haven't dealt with the root. You haven't dealt with the actual cause of what caused the trauma and so it still stays within the pain body. And the armoring deals with that. In my opinion, everybody has armor within it. Everybody has armor within it. And the question is, are they willing to actually go into it? Are they willing to challenge the armor? Are they willing to meet their own armor and their own resistance to life? If somebody has a history of abuse, of any kind of abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, uh, abuse at work. People with history of sexual abuse, they can gain huge amounts of benefits through the armoring because all of those experiences will leave some kind of imprint in the body, some kind of blockage. If the people feel a lack of power in life, if they feel they cannot stand up for themselves, in which case we're going to the armor around the base chakra, we're going to the armor around the hip area and open, help open the energy flow, power flow into the body. The reason somebody feels lethargic or with lack of power is usually because the pelvic floor and the, the, the whole hip area is quite tight and therefore the vital flow of energy cannot enter the body. Any kind of uh, long-term physical condition, such as frozen shoulder, for example, or a certain kind of body posture that is not aligned and free, can be dealt with in the armoring. Sometimes those things will take much longer, many sessions actually, to, to release. Uh, if, especially if we're talking about something that a person had been carrying for 20, 30, 40 years, like a certain kind of body posture, it's not reasonable to expect it to be released in one session, but it can definitely be worked on. Any kind of childhood trauma can be dealt with within the armoring. Any kind of emotional blockage, any kind of energetic blockage, anything, any part of the life that doesn't work how we'd like it to do can be a very good reason to come for the armoring because if we can address it and work on it, we can open the energy flow. And to be honest, many people living in a modern world have many reasons to come for the armoring because the daily lives are kind of set office, home, office, home, not much physical movement. So the body kind of gets stale and stuck in certain position for sometimes years or years, years without uh, correcting without freeing it up. So this is definitely a valid reason to come for the armoring.